management is nothing but doing the business activities and a small concept what we have but administration is a high level activity all the principles made by the top level management it is flexible it can be adjusted or it can be changed according to the situations whatever we are going to face in the organization all the major decisions are taken by the administration but management takes decisions under the boundaries set by the administration Warm welcome to Fast Sum BBS students. In today's session, we are going to have a discussion of management at twenty first century, and even we are going to discuss the principles of management. I am Professor Rajesh L R from Department of Commerce and Management, Vidya Sthan, First Grade College, Temple of Excellence, Mysuru. In our previous session, we have discussed about the levels of management as well as functions of management in today's session we are going to have a discussion of management in 21st century management and administration principles of management significance and what the topic we are going to discuss in our next session the first concept what we have here management in 21st century as there is a rapid growth in the business field so in the present scenario how the relationship is there of the management and how the concepts are used in the present scenario see due to the development of communication technology and positive changes in the government policies towards international business means so earlier there was some problems of investing amount in the international market and the people of international business to invest in our market now they have changed the policies any international business can invest in our indian market this is a rapid changes has taken place and to think of the world as a global village they are saying that when it is a global village where we can invest and earn like anything the next concept of today's session we have here management and administration what is administration administration is nothing but overall determination of policies the top level will make all the policies what should be done by the middle level and operation level and setting major objectives of the organization the goal how it has to reach with the quality services and quality products the identification of general purposes and laying down of broad programs and projects the administrative concept is nothing but it is going to fix the work in such a way that when huge big project it is going to select not a small one always it wants to have the huge or a big one where it has it can enter and execute the work easily with the availability resources whatever it is that one it refers to the activities of higher level it lays down basic principles of the enterprise they are saying that one they are going to frame and have the guidelines how the work should be done in the organization administration means guidance leadership and control of the efforts of the groups towards some common goal what are the goal is there for me to provide the quality services and the quality products are to be given to the consumers then here that to provide proper guidance for all the employees in the organization a proper leadership should be there there should not be hitler rule of leadership and then controlling of the efforts of the groups that to control and that to say that one based on the standard with actual comparison and even that to motivate them by giving some financial and non financial benefits definition what we have here or but someone says in its broadest sense administration can be defined as the activities of group cooperating to accomplish common goals they are saying that what administration is nothing but to reach the common goal common goal is nothing but what the top level management goal is there to reach that goal it makes all the employees changing their mindsets in such a way that when changing the personal goal into objective of the organization they convert that one into the common goal to reach that common goal how the cooperation of the work is done and the coordination has taken place in the organization that is nothing but administration 
So management and administration concept what we have here. See, management is a systematic way of managing people and things within the organization. Management is nothing but how the work has to be executed and managing the people who are working in the organization and controlling them, coordinating them, communicating them. Administration is defined as the act of administering the whole organization by a group of people. Administration is nothing but where it is going to control the entire organization process here. Management is an activity of business, functional level, whereas administration is a high level activity. Management is nothing but doing the business activities and a small concept what we have, but administration is a high level activity. Management focuses on policy implementation, policy formulation performed by the administration. They're saying that one here, implementation of policy means what has to be done, how it has to be done. That will be framed by administration. So here it is framed by administration and it is implemented by the management. Functions of administration include legislation and determination. Conversely, functions of management are executive and governing is nothing but they're going to frame rules and regulations, policies and procedures as per the legal norms they're going to have. And they, those concepts, how it has been executed and how it has been observed in the internal as well as external work activities. Administration takes all the important decisions of the organization. They're saying that when all the major decisions are taken by the administration, but management takes decisions under the boundaries set by the administration. They're going to take decisions internally and not the major decision, a small decisions which can be executed within the organization. A group of persons who are employees of the organization is collectively known as management. On another hand, administration represents owners of the organization. Management here is nothing but employees of the organization who are working for achievement of the common goal, whatever we have. And where it has been controlled and managed is nothing but at the top level, owners are the administrative people here. Management can be seen in the profit making organization like business enterprise. Conversely, the administration is found in the government and military offices, clubs, hospitals, religious organization and all non-profit making enterprise. So what is the difference we have here? Management and administration means here management is used in the business concept but administration is used in the concept of government sector and the military offices and the non-profit organizations like club, hospitals, religious places, that is temples and other places. These concepts are observed. Administration is a small difference between between the what we have with the management management always it thinks to make profit but administration always it thinks about giving services and not to earn profit here management is all about plans and actions but the administration is concerned with the framing policies here management is always it is going to make the plan and according to the plan that work within the organization or outside the organization. But administration is going to frame, means it is going to decide how the rules and regulations are to be followed in the organization. Next concept we have here, principles of management. What is principles of management for that? Let us understand the word principle. Principle is nothing but it is a fundamental statement which gives the guidance to all the employees of the organization how they have to behave in the organization. Principles of management is nothing but in general guidelines for managerial decision and behavior. The saying that one, principles of management is nothing but where it provides all the information to take the decisions by the top level or middle level or operation level business activities and even how they have to behave within the organization as well as outside the organization. The nature of principles of management says that one, 
principles of management is universally applicability. Universally applicability means it is accepted in all types of business, either it may be a big business or a middle concept business or a small business or it may be a manufacturing unit or non-manufacturing unit. In all the business sectors, it is applicable, universally applicable. They can be applied in all types of organization. General guidelines, they are general guidance to take action for the decision for the business environment. What we have here, political environment, legal environment, social environment, economic environment, technological environment. They give the general guidelines for the organization, how the work should be done with the present business environment formed by practice and experimentation all the principles whatever we have in our organization it was formed with the experimenting and by the experience of the people who have worked in their work process and got the ideas how it has to be implemented in the business sector so directly not even single management will apply the rules in the organization first they think that one they after thinking and deciding what has to be applied and what should not be applied for the organization employees whether it be good or bad how the impact will be there if i frame the particular rule or not the next one we have here flexible all the principles made by the top level management it is flexible it can be adjusted or it can be changed according to the situations whatever we are going to face in the organization mainly behavior since the principles aim at influencing complex human behavior they have behavioral in nature it is nothing but as they said that one it is a human behavior concept here how the people of the organization has to behave either inside the organization or outside the organization and next cause and effect relationship as the all the principles are framed based on the experience and experiment so it is nothing but establishing relationship between cause and effect so that they can be used in similar situation that is nothing but based on the incident what it has taken place or incident it may take place so based on certain concepts they're going to frame the principles in the organization like for example they framed the such a thing that when all the employees has to work in any organization for a period of eight hours per day so they, what they are doing here, they fix it in such a way that when eight hours an employee has to work in the organization. This is the duration of work, what each and every employee has to work here. Now, the entire world has faced the effect of Corona. At that time, what certain management has thought that when instead of employees to coming to the place here so we can take a concept of such that one they can work by sitting in their places only so they decided the concept calling as a work from home so they made the employees to work from home for the same duration of work but with additional benefits whenever they want they were calling the employees to the work through online the work which can be done through online those works they have started to having to be completed with the work from home so this is the concept what the cause and effect see with that one now majority of the companies have decided that one. anyhow the employees can sit and do the work from their home so we can take the benefit of that one so some companies have reduced the location place having in such a way that one a small premises they're using and they're avoiding the place of employees to come and work in the organization instead of that one making them to work in their own place why they are doing that one how it is going to be beneficial for the organization for some benefits organization is having the employer what he will do if a, an employee comes to the organization he has to work for eight hours if he's going to work more than eight hours he may request for the overtime wages but when we say them to work from the home here there is no need to pay overtime wages we can make them to work for 10 hours or 11 hours or 
12 hours. This is a concept can be used. So they're thinking that one based on this cause and the effect, whatever it has taken place, they are going to frame the rules and regulations. Contingent. Contingent is nothing but the management principles and the directions has to be made according to the requirement. Like for example, if an sick person has given a capsules to reduce his diseases with a proper MG, then the diseases can be controlled and it can be cured. If for a sick person, if we are going to give a capsule with high MG, instead of giving 250 MG, if I am giving 500 MG or 1000 MG, so what happens here? It may cause some reverse concept in his sickness and it may affect his life. In the same concept here, the management when it frames the rules and regulations or gives the guidelines or the statements to the employees to work in the organization, it should be according to the benefits of the employees, but in the same time, it should be more benefit to the organization. The highlight should be made in such a way that when it is benefited for the employees, but internally, retinally, it should be more benefited to the employer. Like this, they have to think and use the concepts in the organization. The next we have here, the significance of principles of management. So in this first significance, we have here providing managers with useful insight into reality. The principles of management is going to give a proper guidance to all our departmental managers about what it was happened. If this is a thing, it is going to happen. How you have to behave in the particular position, what you are going to face with the event caused in the present scenario. So it is nothing but giving a direction. If any incident takes place, how they have to overcome with the incident, what it has happened here, like if then any problem is created, how to come over with that issues or problems are facing by the departments. That is the providing managers with useful insight into reality. If this thing it is going to happen in, your, in the particular process of work, this is the damage or impact will be there on the work, whatever you are executed here. For that reason, before doing such activities, Think twice or thrice so it will be easy for you to use this concept easily in the business process work whatever you want to execute within the department and make the subordinates to work here. The next one we have here optimum utilization of resources and effective administration. It is nothing but here whatever the resources are available in the organization use that resources in a proper way that one and use the almost all the benefits from those resources take each and every pie to buy information from that one and beneficial concept from that particular resources and use that one in such a manner so then almost all the concepts of the resources whatever you have it will be more profitable for the organization for example if an employee is appointing for a particular job but make him to work for more than two or three work what it has to be done in the organization instead of three employees doing a work that has to be done by one employee like this take the benefits of that one and utilize that one what can be done how it can be used to get the more profitability in the organization Third one we have here, scientific decision. Scientific decision is nothing but here, based on the formulation of the things in the management, how it has to be done, make some experiments based on that, take a proper decisions to work to be executed. And next, meeting the changing environmental requirements. Management principles provide an effective and dynamic leadership and help the organization to implement the changes. So they are saying that one makes certain rules and rules in such a way that one it can be changed according to the situations what we are going to face in the future. So according to the changing environment, if we are going to change the rules and regulations and the policies and other activities in the management or the business area, our work can be done easily and the aim can be reached without any hurdles. 
fulfilling social responsibility is nothing but by giving some equity fair remuneration for the employees that's nothing but when you're going to pay proper salary for the employees they're going to work for the organization they never leave the organization for any reasons here if the employees are not getting the proper wages then definitely he may think over that one i want to jump from one company to other company for the purpose of remuneration where i have to survive in the market so for that reason whatever the present society or the market what we have here based on the needs and other part at least if the employer is going to provide to reach certain needs of the employees definitely is not going to leave the organization management training education and research here it is nothing but identify in such a way that one for which department which type of training has to be provided when it has to be provided and how the training has to be given whether it is a off job training has to be given or on job training has to be given for the employees for what purpose it has to be given whether we want to update the knowledge for the employees or for what other purpose the training should be given and make in such a way that one all the employees are trained in such a way that one not even single employee is in a position saying that one i don't know to work or i don't know how to involve in the work area so if you're going to provide the training for the employees the quality of service or the quality product what you want to be provided for the consumers that can be given easily and the aim what you have that can be reached easily here this is the thing what we have here so in today's session we have discussed about principles of management as well as nature of principles of management scientific principles of management which is useful for our business scenarios whatever we are in the present market thank you to all my dear students this was entire unit 1 in our next session we are going to start unit 2 which is called planning and decision making this is very important chapter get into all the sessions collect the information and use the information for the present business what you are doing or if you are going if you are planning to do the business in future this chapter or this unit will be important for the young entrepreneurs in the first unit whatever we have discussed here it is very important through examination point of view like for example the questions they may ask for you people in the section a there will be one question section b one question and section c one question will be there where you have to write that one with a simple concepts whatever we have given in all the sessions whatever we have done for unit 1 go through all the units uh, sessions so you are going to learn that one and we have clearly informed that one which is our 10 marks question and which is our 15 marks question which is going to help you people to write in the examination without any issues if you listen the points and if you note down the points whatever we have mentioned in the sessions so you just go through that one you can clear your paper with centimarks thank you to all the bba students